There we go. I was like, hold on. All right. So we got uh, Lene going against Aurier. It's Koma's Aurier, of course. And we got a newcomer now coming out with Lene. I've seen this guy do some casuals before. These matches started before. And he's definitely been giving a few people a run for their money. He's definitely been utilizing a lot of Lene's normals, a lot of her long range attacks, a good amount of her gimmicks, her rolls, and her cross ups. So let's see what this Lene player can do against our good old buddy, Matt Koma. Let's go. Ooh, very nice bubble. Need some my airspace. Good, good grab on combo. Tries to go into a lockdown. Now, what's the OS? Okay, kind of playing around with one another right now. Ooh, there we go. Dark Hero is doing some damage. He drops the combos on them with the finish. That might be his downfall because with this, Koma goes into serious clutch mode. And this could be it. With 10 seconds left, Koma has more than enough time and the resources to try and fill. Ooh, wait a minute. Very nice deflect. But see, still not it yet. Koma just needs one more tap. And just like that, Koma brings it home with a slip of health left. Alright, good catch on the low. Push him ever so ever so slowly into the corner. Okay. Alright, now it's gonna be not Dark Hill's turn yet. Koma sitting on a plethora of resources, so as soon as he's able to crack open Dark Hill, there's gonna be some serious pain coming. Alright, with the OS, get him on the lockdown. Tries to go for a few lows and overhead to try and catch him slipping, but Dark Hill's able to block all of that, and now Dark Hill takes his turn putting Koma into the corner, and now Dark Hero with his 200 meter resource. Oof. Backing off just a little bit, gets some breathing room. Not, not the time to do that now, as Koma gets out of the corner and puts Dark Hero back in it once again. Koma staying on 160 resource with 30 seconds left on the clock. Ooh, wait a minute. Fourful, ooh, shot it. Chase. Gives chase with the divine thrust. All right, good stagger pressure. Ten seconds left on the clock. Coma going in is able to take the win, putting a number on the board. Bring this one zero, Coma. I was talking to Coma a little bit earlier as he noticed this Lene player before in casuals. And he doesn't really play against Lene that much, so he was a little bit hesitant and a little bit, uh, slightly even worried, I should say, going into this match. But from what I'm seeing here, he's definitely been able to adapt pretty well. Nice dagger start to try and get him loose. Tries to go for an assault. And just trying to catch him low, not working as Dark Hill finally takes his turn, pushing Koma into the corner. Slowly building up his resource, he's on 100, uses it for EX Kuga, continues his combo. Nice, four, nice 4k damage, 27 hits. Oof. Good tech. The next Uni, to my understanding, is going to be Uni Clear, as for Unclear. Ah, oh, I gotta love those jokes. Alright, seems like Dark Hero is definitely getting the better advantageous situation against Koma right now. But wait a minute, like I said, Koma's like your typical pro tag character over here. Once you kick him that low, he just comes back. But not this time. Oof, that grabbed us so much damage. All right, there we go. Koma pushing his punt into the corner. Ooh, Dark Hill starting to see some momentum. Sitting at 200 meter, currently has Vorpal. Oh, here we go. Force function. Good. Not force function. Ah. Uh, legal pause button. That's what I call it. There you go. All right, there we go. E EX Persona for the lockdown. Doesn't capitalize on it this time around. Okay. 
Dark Hill sitting on a plethora, but he's definitely got to stop dropping these combos, or else Coma's going to take a significant advantage of that. Good, good Air B. Ooh. Runs up on him, has a nice little slight walk back, catches him open, catches him slipping, and gets him in. Both of the opponents going into the going to this next round with 200 meters. So wh whoever cracks one another open first is going to lay on some, some significant damage. It looks like Koma could. Not yet. Some good defensive game from Koma against Lene right now, folks. My goodness. Good reject. Koma being very cautious, which is a good thing. He hasn't lab against. He has not played against a lot of Lene players like that. Good grid break from Koma. Ooh, with the overhead, and here we go. Land on the damage, 200 meter. You got this. This is gonna hurt, folks. Ah! The drops. What's going on? All right. Lene takes that nice verbal, cashes out with the changeup already. Doesn't matter really, because uh, Koma goes in, gets that grab, and takes on the next match. And actually, he'll be moving on, knocking Dark Hero to our loser's bracket. So all in all, okay, very nice, very nice. Matt coming, do, doing the dude. Like I said, he was going into the, he was going to this first match a little bit, like slightly hesitant. But you know what? He was able, you know, Matt coming with his quick, quick adaptability, was able to just go into this match and just be like, you know what? I got this. It's okay. Let me just sit there, do my due diligence, take this dub, and just go on to the next match. No problem, no if ands or buts. So definitely give it up to our boy Matt coming for his phenomenal and tremendous victory going on to his winner's bracket. So as I was saying earlier, welcome to our good old Xanadu. 2000, uh, 2016, 2019, 16th edition. It's your good old boy Shin, aka Shin Peasy, your hostess with the mostest, coming at y'all with our good old anime power hour. It's been a while since I've been here, folks. You know, life's just been hit me, just been not, not hit me hard, but it's been, it's been stressful. It's been stressful. Like, oh my goodness, I'm just like, do I? I'm just like, do I? Can, can I come to? Can, can I come to the weeklies on Thursday? Like, I'm so tired. Work has been killing me. It's just, it's been stressful. But I'm here. I'm here for the monthly, and it's my birthday, so I'm definitely about to be lit and excited today. And we got some good matches for Eunice overall and for our overall tournament. So definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for all the good tournaments we got going on today. Now, Mission Control. What's our next matches happening now? Because I feel like I should know this, but I don't. But that's okay, because I'll be finding out very soon, very soon. No. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Who's coming up next in the chopping block? Who knows? All right. Not a problem. Come on, right? Okay. But I think it was going to be a pleasant surprise to me, pleasant, uh, pleasant surprise to everyone else. So it's all right. So what I'm hearing, guys, it could be our typical Naruto and Sasuke rivalry of Koma and Rei, so we'll see. That's what I've been told, but I'm not entirely sure. It looks like Rei is walking over to the... Yes! And so it is going to be Rei and Matt Koma going up for our next match to see who is going to be in Grand Finals, I believe. Yes. Winter Finals, yes. Going into Grand Finals. Gotcha. Yes, because I can do things. We got this, folks. We got this. <laughs> Oh, man. So, stream chat, how's everyone been? It's been a while since I've been here. How's everyone been? Everyone been good, healthy? Everyone been uh, labbing all characters that they should be, whether 